Hi, it's Dave Oates, Head Researcher at Finder Monkey and Research Director of Joanna North Associates. Um, I want to do a quick video about looking for birth fathers, particularly, um, especially when someone's adopted. Um, but obviously there are many fathers that are absent from, you know, from people's lives, sometimes through adoption, uh, but often not, you know, not as well. So, um, and actually adoption is just um, how, you know, you're separated in the eyes of the law, but the, you know, the feelings and emotions that can run on site, you know, not knowing or not having contact with a father can, you know, are the same. Um, so I think we, you know, we, we treat things in much the same way, although with adoption there is a, a legal process we, we need to follow. Uh, so it's slightly more complicated from our point of view. Um, but if you're looking for a birth father, um, there are lots of different ways uh, we can go about that. Um, hopefully most people would have um, an idea of a birth father's name and some information about them. Now, as I've said on many videos before, but if you've not watched them, when we're looking for somebody, three basic things that we would hope to have to be able to track the right person down through searching records. That would be a person's name, a location, that can be an exact address or a town, you know, or even a county, um, and an approximate age. Um, if you've got a date of birth, fantastic, because that's really helpful to us. Um, but often we can use information of an approximate age, uh, um, an area and a name to, to work those other details out, to find birth records, to give us a date of birth and really build up a picture of who it is that we're looking for to be able to track them down. So that's how we do it when we've got information. But I wanted to talk also briefly today because it's a massive subject. But what if you don't know the name of your birth father? You know, and you've asked everybody that you think you can ask. You've been to all the places that you can get information from and you don't you don't know. Well, the good news is now there is um, the, the possibility to find birth family um, through DNA testing. Um, and that would be through using um, family history DNA testing specifically. And that's basically where you have a DNA test done via websites like Ancestry. There are others, uh, but Ancestry, I believe, have the largest database. So in our opinion, if you, you know, you're gonna have the most matches there. So it seems the most logical one to use. Um, you have your DNA tested and that will be compared against the millions of other people who've had their DNA tested. And then what happens is you can start to look at how you might be related to those people. It's unlikely for most people you would get a parent coming up on as a DNA match, you know, for somebody they didn't know. But what you might get is people that are related to them. And all you really need is like a, a lead into that, that family tree so you can start to really understand who it might be. And we've used this on a number of occasions now and it, we've helped people, you know, to use this, this process to find the right person. Um, and it really does work. And actually it's a, it's a relatively new thing. Millions of people have already had DNA tests done. I suspect that trend is gonna to continue to rise and there'll be millions and millions more having it done. So if it doesn't work immediately, um, it can be constantly reviewed and should get answers at some point. So if you're really stuck looking for a birth father um, and you've already tried everything else, then there is still hope. So um, if you've got any questions about that, please get in touch with us. And if you feel like you need our help to do it, uh, help you do that, then I'm sure we'll be able to help you. And so just give us a call and uh, we'll be happy to see what we can do for you. Thanks for watching.